I thank you for participating when I ask you why you go to church. It seems like the last few days the Lord has been speaking to me, you know, that we have really, really, really on one hand, we have really been teaching and learning and grasping and really living that the walls are not the church. The church is the church. However, I would fear that if we would get only that idea, that we would be leaving out a lot of other truth. And the Lord kind of burdened my heart about that. And I started meditating and studying scripture and doing some research, which I hope to share here, in the Bible about why church. But I wanted to start by asking you, and over a hundred of you have responded, why you go to church. I will share that here later too, Lord willing. But I wanted to share with you that your responses, plus Dr. John Maxwell in a webinar today, said something that caused me to think why I go to church. I mean, there's all those reasons that you've stated and that everybody else has stated. The main reason is that God commanded it. But why do I go to church? And I realized when I became a Christian, I was an awful tiny little, little M, little E, little tiny me. And I had a lot of faults, a lot of things inside me that I couldn't control. And I had no Lord. I had no satisfaction. I was not a growing inside in my soul and in my mind and heart person. Through the years of obedience and reading the word and going to church and learning from so many, 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 many people, I have started to grow. And I, I, I have grown. I'm sure there's still much, much more growing to do. But I have grown through the, the presence of the word, being in obedience to the commandment, worshiping, praising, learning, teaching, all those things you said, which we'll cover more later. But the main reason is I needed help inside me. And the Lord helped me to grow into a person more like him.